going on, Jerome's? What's going on, Poppies? We're back for another PFF mock draft, this time with trades, because I, I rubbed my two brain cells together and we figured out the, the trading thing. So, cool. All right, so we got the Vikings. We got seven rounds. We want to go fast. Uh, and we just notch up the randomness a little bit. Now, you can play with the PFF parameters so that, like, Penny Sewell falls out of the first round. I mean, Penny Sewell could kill, like, five guys. I, I don't know if he falls out of the first round. But uh, enter draft. Enhance. So, uh, we're going to take a look at the trade. Well, so also this bumps me. So, I, I don't know if there's like simulated trades beforehand, but the Vikings don't have the Steelers six round pick. And also, uh, they don't have, uh, they didn't ship their third and fourth to Jacksonville next year. It's just the fifth. So, I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, go look here. So, I want to get back into the second round. So, a good target would be George Payton. Georgie Porgy, what's going on? So, number 41 overall. You got that beautiful second round pick, but you want picks. And you come from the school of Rick Spielman. So, you, you want that picks to rebuild the roster in your own image. So, how about four? How about four? How about four? How about four? 441. Let's go. Come on, George. All right. Mm. All right. Four, 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 five. Actually, no, I'll give you Pittsburgh's five, four, 41, and seven. Now this, all right, so trade accepted. Uh, looking at the trade chart, uh, the trade chart likes it. Uh, so we're getting some premium value. Uh, the uh, number 41 overall pick is worth 490. Uh, and then you add up the, the four fourth rounders as well as the fifth offset by that. It comes out pretty close. And I, I think this would be the spot where, since Spielman has had so many damn draft picks the last two seasons, they're still in the sphere of the team. Uh, if you're if you were going to condense some draft picks, this would be the year to do it. Uh, all right, so start the draft. See if anyone wants to come up to 14. Hmm. All right. For some reason, Penny Sewell is on board, but we're going to try and play this quasi realistically. So we're going to pass. I mean. I, again, if Penny Sewell kills two guys, I don't even know if he falls to 14. So uh, that that is uh, some sometimes you get some randomness in the similars. But uh, Lawrence one fields two to the Jets. Uh, Parsons three. Oh, Zach Wilson falling. He falls all the way to nine. I like that. I like me now. Nick Bolton goes to charge. Wow. I mean, no. Anyway, uh, so who's on board? Slater's on board. Rousseau's on board. Darius. All right. So basically. Uh, even Pitts is there, uh, which I, I understand. So basically, everyone except for Sewell, this is this is a pretty realistic scenario of what could happen at 14. So Vikings have three trade offers. Bears want to come up, the Colts, and the Packers. So I don't want to deal with the Bears and the Packers because if you trade in division and then their player ends up being a star, you have to deal with that for years. So uh, Colts, hey, Chris Ballard, what's going on? So if you want to come up to 14, I want your one. I want your two. I want your three. I want your future two. Pay in through the nose. All right, fine. Future three. Nice. All right, so what, what do we got? What, what's our draft capital? All right. So now we have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, Pretty okay with. All right, so um, see who's on board here. So Bateman, Joke is there. Owe, Chris Alev, Morig. Hmm. Uh, Aziz is there. Hmm. Teams want to trade again. Oh, Niners. Hey, John Lynch. Welcome back to the party, pal. Uh, unless you have two second round picks, I'm not interested. So none of these teams do. Yeah, so screw them. Anyway, looking at drafting a player. All right, so let's look at offensive line. Let's get both. All right, so Jenkins there, Vera Tucker, Wyatt Davis, of course, coming off the injury. Cosme's uh, super intriguing. Leatherwood as well. All right, let's look at uh, defensive line. All right, so we saw that Owe is on the board, right? Yeah, Owe is there. Aziz is there. If you're betting on pure physical upside, Owe would be your guy. Although Aziz, as a Richard sophomore, certainly um, can bend the edge, and he's really, really intriguing. But Owet, I think, is going to do really disgusting things to the combine. Like if he runs a four-three, game over. All right, so McNeil and Wizariki, Nixon is there. They're really down on Nixon. It's really interesting. Hmm. 
Uh, but in this spot, uh, I... Mm. All right, so we have two second-round picks. I think we could pretty easily go uh, offensive line there. Yeah, we can make the second round all around about offensive line. So we want to bet on the upside of an edge rusher. Uh, the the modus operandi has always been giving Andre Patterson these mid round physical freaks. How about a first round physical freak? Hmm? So Jace Nowhere, come on down. You're the next member of the Minnesota Fine Vikings. Let's go. Let's go. All right, just want to pick through who else went. All right, so oh, who did the Colts? Oh, the tra Colts traded up for Mac Jones. All right, that makes sense, and also that makes sense why we're able to uh, get so much value. Kyle Pitts, Penny Sewell finally comes off board because he killed five guys. Slater, Rousseau, Darisa, Owe went to us at twenty-one. Leatherwood is off the board. Basham, or Darius. I mean, besides the the random Penny Sewell fall, and then also probably Zach Wilson falling. I mean, this is relatively realistic, uh, which is uh, all you can expect from a simulator. Wait, how far? Wait, how far did Trey Lance fall? Is Trey Lance still on board? Uh, no, Trey Lance went six to the Eagles. Wow. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I'm mistaken. All right, so uh, we're in the second round, 41 overall. All right, so we just missed out on Eichberg. Zayvon Collins just went. That would have been interesting. Fryermuth. Uh, oh, Lee McNeil. Wow, popping up, baby. All right, so offensive line. Actually, look at the big board. Tony, sure. Jenkins is on board. I, I'm really warm up to Jenkins. Trask is there. Good luck with that. All right, so offensive line, tackles, and interior. All right, so if you draft Wyatt Davis, he hasn't officially declared yet, uh, but also if you draft him, probably going to have to use him as a redshirt this year. That's fine. I like Mayfield. I love Dickerson. Carmen is sort of eh to me. Love Trey Smith. Cleveland's eh. Um, all right, so we're going to go Jenkins here. And, yes, Jenkins, I, I don't know if he projects to kick in inside, so that could leave Ezra Cleveland in limbo as a guard is what it is. It happens. Uh, all right, so now uh, back on the clock at 53. A couple teams interested in this pick. Uh, unless you have – why the stupid Bears keep wanting to tra trade with me? 62-93. Nah, I'm, I'm going to cash in on this pick, man. All right, so you have a couple options here. So you got Owe. You got um, Tevin Jenkins, the end OT. So you you got those two to, uh, uh, line pieces. Now I, I want to double down on something. So on Wuzuriki is super intriguing. He was opt out this year. Rashad Weaver's there. We got a double edge. I mean, we could Marvin Wilson. I feel like Marvin Wilson has uh, the shine has really come off of him, even though he, he's had some phenomenal uh, 2018 and 2019 season. Um, let's see. That's Peru's defensive interior. Ah, Nixon is there too. What to do, what to do, what to do. To your offensive lineman. All right, so I think Trey Smith will be there in the third. I'm not so sure about Anwuzariki or Wilson. Do I just take Wilson? I, I like Wilson as a more all-around guy. Anwuzariki, I, I don't know if he'll be a true three-down, three-tech. Nah, I'm just going to go get my guy. So I got Nixon. All right, so we got Nixon, Jenkins, uh, Owe, uh, back on the clock. Oh, look, Marvin Wilson's still there, chilling. We could double down. Well, I, I am interested in doubling down uh, on defensive tackle in terms of getting a nose tackle as well. Shelvin. It's a little bit too early for Shelvin. Is it? Trey Smith win, didn't he? No. Anyway, uh, so looking at the big board, Paris Ford is on board. Actually, let's look at the safeties. All right, so Paris Ford, Richie Grant, Stearns, Glepsy. Yeah, if you can get hmm, Hufunga too. Man, if you can get him at this stage of the game. Cornerback wise, I, I'm really not a Sean Wade guy. I'm just not. All right, we're going to get Paris Ford. Safety. All right, so Wilson and Shelvin are just there winking at us. All right, so we have another third-round pick. Yeah, I think we got to do it, right? So pick up Shelvin at mm, – or do we go Wilson? That's tough. That That is tough. 
Ah, give me the nose tackle. All right. Marvin Wilson's just still there. Like, what What happened? All right, so Darden is there. Now, do we go by need? Do we go by need or do we just go get our guy? So Deontay Brown is still there. Yeah, if you get Deontay Brown, we're changing our scheme, man. Josh Myers is super intriguing. Drake Jackson is there chilling as well. Jackson can certainly play guard. Or, I mean, do we just go the fun route? I mean, there's a lot of really good wide receivers. So we're not drafting into the fifth round, which kind of sucks. Uh, so I, I think the difference between getting a high-end wide receiver in the fifth round uh, versus getting uh, a, a high-end offensive lineman in the fifth round, I, I think it's a big difference. Like, you can live with getting a, a fifth-round wide receiver. I think right now you have to draft a guy uh, on the offensive line who could potentially start. So, Drake? Yep. Yoinks. So the Vikings have maneuvered, and you're coming out of day one, day two. You have Jason Owe. You have Tevin Jenkins, who can start on the offensive line right away. Uh, you have uh, another great guard. You have Nixon. You got Shelvin. You have a safety. I mean, you feel pretty good about this one. Josh Myers is still there. What happened? What happened? That's a cornerback. JT Dent. Has he declared? Or is he going back? I don't know. Uh, tight end. Ah, this is what sucks sometimes. Uh, now, let's take... Uh, let's look at the big board. All right, so Myers and... Uh, Daz Newsom is there. Man, if you get Daz Newsom in the fifth. Darius Stills is still there? Wow. Deontay Brown is there chilling? Ah. Nah. Bring him Daz Newsom as that wide receiver three. can help in the return game as well. You like it. So, you got three picks left. I'm pretty happy. Oh, I'm pretty exact with what's going on. Also, really love that that uh, just really wrenching Chris Ballard. Ah, it's rough. All right, so Kellen Mond, just take him. Yeah. Because what is so wrong about having a backup quarterback that you're actually excited about? Actually has some upside. It's crazy, right? So checking out running back, uh, Verdell, Puka, Master Teague. I mean, Master Teague at this stage of the game, sure. Um, but also linebacker. Brent, Davis Fields. <laughs> For, that's a great name, by the way. I mean, I like Brit. Probably grab Brit. But also, we ignored Zimmer's cornerbacks. Oh, John Charles. Ah, snooches. Uh, and then finishing up, we got wait. Seventh round pick. Do we get the the honorary Spielman seventh round linebacker? I think we kind of have to. Unless something really sticks out here. Uh, let's hear him. I mean, I like Jacoby Stevens, except he doesn't have great agility. No. That was just... Uh. Right, we'll, we'll just draft the guy with the highest PFF grade. <laughs> Whenever it comes down to that, just like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll just grab the guy who's the, the most green. All right, so results. Uh, so the Vikings traded 4-4-4-5 uh, four, 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 uh, and then got back into the second round. Uh, and then they traded down from 14 to 21, as well as got the Colts 1-2-3 and a future third uh, as they came up for Mac Jones. Uh, PFF apparently liked the trade. But getting Jason Owe. And, yes, always getting those physical freaks for Andre Patterson in the mid-rounds. Why not get him a first-round guy? Where Jason Owe is 6'5", he's 260, and he could potentially run a 4-4. Now, is he going to end up like a Vernon Golston? I don't know. But you're just betting on those insane physical tools. Uh, Jenkins and Drake Jackson come in, uh, can compete to start right away. I think Jenkins, plop him in at the left tackle. You're good to go there. Put Drake Jackson in one of the guard spots. Maybe center. Uh, and then move Bradbury over. Lot, lots of things you can do. Davan Nixon uh, on the back end of the second round, as well as Tyler Shelvin. Could that potentially be the, the future interior uh, for the Vikings? Or Shelvin, understudy for Michael Pierce. I like it. I like it. Paris Ford uh, gets into that safety mix, uh, as well as I got Daz New, some wide receiver three, as well as return guy, Kellen Mond, uh, potential, eh, quarterback of the future, meh, uh, but at least a uh, high end backup with upside, uh, as well as uh, getting a quarterback and linebacker towards the end of the draft uh, to fill out uh, Zimmer's back end of that defense. So, I mean, overall, lots of, lots of trades, lots of movement, and I think if you're going to condense picks, 
since Spielman has had so many picks last two years, this would be the time to do it. So taking all those fourth round picks, some of the fifth round picks, and just trying to move up as far as you can just for one or two solid players. Because uh, looking at he came out of day one, day two with a West Jex, uh, J- uh, Jenkins, Nixon, Ford, Shelvin, and Jackson. I mean, that's pretty damn good. You have uh, six guys who are at minimum going to be high end rotational guys uh, like Owe, potentially Paris Ford, uh, and Shelvin. And then you have guys who can start. So, just insane. So I love it. I'm glad I figured out uh, how to trade. So there you go. Uh, but your thoughts, uh, PFF mock draft with trades? Let us know in the uh, comment section below. Subscribe for your daily Vikings takes. I'll support that work. Post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.